So in some other problems, uh, vector is sometimes represented with its transverse angle uh, theta and its azimuth angle, which is uh, phi. So as I said, transverse angle uh, is different from, shall we say, alpha and beta uh, because this is alpha and beta. But gamma here is the same with the azimuth angle. So this is also equal to gamma. So in other problems, there is only two angle given, which is the uh, phi, which is the azimuth, and theta, which is the transverse angle. So how do we calculate uh, AZ, AX, and AY uh, using these two angles right here? So first thing to calculate is we calculate first AZ and A prime. A prime here is the uh, resultant of AX and AY. If it is, if you consider AX and AY a two-dimensional or two-dimensional rectangular components, so this A prime is their resultant. So basically, this is square root of. If you calculate the magnitude of A prime, it is square root of AX squared plus AY squared. In some other books, uh, they use this as AXY. So to show that it is uh, equal to the sum of the components. AX and AY, vector AX and AY. So let's consider this drawing. This one right here is a rectangle. So again, if you remember the door, if this is the door, uh, this is the doorknob and this is the hinge. So you open the door, this is still a rectangle. It, it will not change. The door will not change its shape. So I will redraw it here so that we will have an easier uh, figure to understand AZ and A prime. So this one right here, AZ and A prime. So if we draw a diagonal here, this is A, which is this vector, the vector itself. So this is phi. So basically, this is also A prime. So this is 90. This one is 90 degrees. So to calculate AZ first and A prime, uh, you just use this right triangle right here. Uh, very easy. So cosine of phi is equals to AZ over A. And cosine, a sine of phi is equals to A prime over A. So if you simplify that, you will get this formula. AZ equals A cosine phi. And A prime equals A sine phi. So next. If you already got AZ and you already have A prime, you don't, uh, A prime is not included in the components of vector A in XYZ, uh, rectangular Cartesian coordinate system. So we just resolve A prime uh, using this plane right here. So this one is also a rectangle, as you can see. And Let's consider this right triangle. If we divide this rectangle, because this is 90 degrees, this is also 90 degrees. So this is theta. Remember, theta is sometimes uh, measured from x, which is in this case, it is measured in x. Sometimes it is measured in uh, direction, which is this, this angle right here, y. So it depends on the problem. So the formula will change if the direction of, if the if the placement of theta will also change. But in this case, uh, we can see that AX is adjacent to theta. So basically, AX equals uh, A prime cosine theta. Because this is A prime using this triangle. So this is 90 degrees. This is also AY. So this is AX and this is A prime. So cosine theta is equals to ax over a. So you will get, or cosine theta equals ax over a prime, I mean. So that's how you get ax. Then ay is equals to a prime sine theta because it is opposite to theta. But we already have the formula for a prime. Uh, remember that a prime here is equal to a sine theta from this one. 
So you just substitute there. And you will have the complete formula of AX and AY in terms of the uh, transverse angle and azimuth angle. So I strongly suggest that you don't memorize this one. I don't recommend that because you can simply derive it using the concepts of trigonometry which is very very much easier to do than memorizing. And again, theta is not always in this side it may also be placed in this side or sometimes in other sides so the formula may change so it is easier to derive it on your own and solve it on your own using the concepts of trigonometry so that you will not get a wrong answer if the placement of the forces and the angles are changed so substituting it to the formula in this particular scenario or in this particular figure so you will get this uh, final formula for this is ax this is ay and this is az so let's have an example with the same uh, the topic about azimuth angle and transverse angle so again take a pause try to solve this on your own first then play it back if you're finished and check if we have the same answer and determine if uh, what part of your solution is the same as mine and check if you have incorrect solution and which part are is not correct on your solution so that you can change it and understand it again learn from it then uh, in, improve your skills so first one is uh, example for the given figure so as you can see we have here the vector a uh, with a magnitude this is the magnitude of a uh, 12 meters this is a position vector so this is the azimuth angle and this is the transverse angle so the determine the rectangular representation of vector a so you just simply need ax ay and az so that you can check which is always uh, in this figure is the same or positive in all uh, direction ax ay and az and next is determine the angles between vector a and each of the positive coordinate axis so this is alpha beta and gamma so alpha this one is alpha that is being asked beta and gamma so gamma is already here so we already have the answer for that one so in other books by the way uh, alpha beta and gamma is represented with theta x theta y and theta z in some other books so maybe in this solution or in this problem we'll use this one uh, so let's check or let's try to solve first is problem a so again, the first step is you calculate first AZ, AZ and A prime or AXY in this case. Let's use AXY. So basically this is phi. So calculate AZ and AXY, which is also equal to A prime. Using phi equals 30 degrees. So the same triangle, draw this triangle right here. So that is AZ. And this is A prime, and this is A, so this is 30 degrees. So easy to solve because we already have here 12. So AZ is uh, A cosine 30, and AXY, which is A prime, so let's use AXY here, is A, which is 12 meters sine 30. So you will have these two answers right here. So you already have AZ, you only need AXY. So for AXY, uh, we just need this triangle right here. So for that triangle, so this is 90 degrees. This is AXY, this is AY, and this is AX. So this is 40, 40 degrees. So if I draw that again to make it a little bit of can understand you view it from the top view top view of the figure so that you can see 
the here the x axis and the y axis so this is ax this is a y because this is also a y a y and this is a x y so this is 40 degrees and this is 90 degrees so you can use this one so a x y equals cosine 40 or I shall I say ax equals axy cosine 40 and ay equals axy sine 40. So you already have the value of axy which is 6 from our previous solution. Then multiply it by cosine 40 for ax and sine 40 for ay. So you have ax, ay and az already. So this is ax, ay and uh, az. So this is easy, 10.39. So substituting it, 10.39, easy. So using these three values here, substitute it to vector A formula. So you will get this one. Uh, this is the answer for problem A in vector form, with units in meters. Next is problem B. The angles between A and each of the positive coordinate axis. So to get that, we know that AX is equals to A cosine alpha, or shall we say theta X. We use alpha or theta X the same. Uh, AY equals A cosine theta Y. Uh, this is beta. And AZ equals A cosine theta Z. So this is gamma so in this particular solution uh, we already have ax ay and az which is from the previous solution here ax ay az and we have a here which is 12 meters so we can calculate now theta x theta y and theta z so solving for that we get with this one so simplifying the same formula, this is the same formula as I presented earlier. I just simplified it. So you will get three angles. So 67.5, So actually you don't need to solve for this one because it is already given in the problem which is 30 degrees. So to make sure, just to make sure you try to solve it, then you will get the same answer. 30 degrees. So... Uh, after calculating a, theta x, theta y, and theta z, uh, to understand it better, the figure will look like this. So the angles theta x, theta y, and theta z is measured from the x, y, and z axis to the vector a respectively. So that's how you check your answer, or draw the figure so that uh, you will have a correct answer, correct understanding in the solution so now let's try to check if you have learned something from this video uh, we will assess your uh, problem solving skills by trying to solve these uh, problems and try to solve this by pausing first the video if you look at the problem then play it if you are already finished so that you can see the answers so the first problem here is So the answer for this problem is for the next problem, so we will try here to solve a three-dimensional system. So this is the question. So the answer for this problem is So the last practice problem for this lecture video is this problem, which is also a three-dimensional problem. So take a pause. So the answer for this problem is... So this will be the end of our lecture for this video. 
And please try to solve more problems from the internet so that you can practice more and improve your problem solving skills. You can solve problems from the textbooks and you can search for problems here in the internet and try do it, it, doing it on your own and improve your skills more, uh, learn more. Then I hope you learned something from this video and please don't forget to hit like on this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos. See you on our next lecture video.